Greetings family, we're live on Revolutionary Camp and we're here at Bomani Technology and we're here to reflect back on our Ghana December 2019 Journey of a Lifetime and also connect you with South Africa November 2020 and I'm here with my wonderful special guest and she's going to introduce herself to you. Peace and love family, this is Mama Talia from New Jersey and I'm here with Brother uh, Bomani to have a discussion about a trip of a lifetime to Ghana and our upcoming trip to South Africa in November. Absolutely. First of all, I want to thank you for joining our wonderful journey in December and bringing two of your wonderful friends. You know, we always like that, the yes. more the merrier. Uh, and that was that established journey. But you have went above and beyond and, you know, you did something only one or two other people have ever been able to do. Like really just connect us with, you know, basically a full group of people ready to travel on our journey. So you have literally connected us with 15 wonderful people to make our South Africa November 2020 journey bigger and stronger. So thank you for that one. That saved me a lot of work because <laughs> well, well, we have a hard time getting recruiters to find well, people. <laughs> you know, I've been blessed to follow this brother for a few years now and, and I really love the work that he's doing. He's very meticulous, very precise. Um, his packages are well organized and they really offer or speak a lot to what it is that we as African Americans should be learning when we travel. It's nice to go somewhere and have a good time, but we should be learning about our contribution to the world and Brother Bomani definitely offers that. Um, I've looked at various uh, tour companies to put together my tour for South Africa. Nobody responded. Brother Bomani was the only one that got back with me in reference to doing a trip and now I have about 15 of my closest friends and family that are going to be accompanying us um, in November of 2020. Absolutely family, uh, I was definitely available and definitely available to make the deal uh, and uh, so it's one of those things that we talked about um, you know, that we as a people have to be a little more organized in I business um, you know, and all of us can do better. I, I pride myself on doing better every day. Uh, you know, we can always do better our communication, the way we organize business, everything. Absolutely. So we're not beating down on our brothers and sisters. We're trying to encourage them to step it up because what happens, and I realize, is like every time I check my voicemail, you know, it's like getting another paycheck. Mm. You know, and I'd say that it's all about that, but it's like uh, people are calling me saying, I need your help to help me do business, to get this set up, do, a, do tourism, but it's like, if you have all the skills and talents and everything and you don't market yourself mm -hmm. to do business, mm -hmm. you're going to miss out. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's a privilege to be able to get to a level where you can actually do independent business with your own brothers and sisters. And uh, it's a lot of us out here that's looking to do business with others. I'm always trying to find people to do business in, in the age of tourism. And we know, so let's network more. Absolutely. And I really wanted to use an African-American tour company for my trip. Last year, I took a group of people to um, Senegal, West Africa, and again, I used, I organized a trip myself, and I used um, an African-American tour company, which is Talia's Travel Service. That's Excellent. me. I'm here for all of your trips to Senegal and the Gambia, and hopefully to Ghana and other places in the near future. But um, I just want to say that I really feel privileged. It's not every day that you have the opportunity to meet a certain caliber of people, um, in reference to Brother Bomani, I watched him and how he handles people and the groups. He made everyone from the youngest person to the oldest person. And we had a lot of old heads on the trip to Ghana. <laughs> there was a whole lot of us on that trip. And he made sure that each and every one of us was taken care of, anything that we needed, any accommodations or adjustments that had to be made. He made them with a smile on his face and you felt loved and cared about through that whole trip. Absolutely, I appreciate your energy and uh, looking to just be a representation of us just uh, taking things to the next level mm -hmm. and just being our best and you know, just making our little boy and all of a sudden that you, know, you, know, you have an opportunity to build your own technology em Absolutely. Uh, empire or enterprise and you know, we just have to just keep on connecting you around other people to show that we as a people can do certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, again, family, some of us may not necessarily have some of these skills and background. I spend a time from being 18 when I left Brooklyn, New York, joining the military and mm -hmm. just pride myself on being like young and say I want to learn mm -hmm. to just be the best and, and you know, and I was able to just get a great career. Which your, passion, your passion comes through. Um, yeah, and like especially when you you know you you can connect with learning how to do things organized. Mm -hmm. Like you know the previous careers I've had just help with that. And yeah, I'm a very passionate person. Especially when I learned about what happened to my ancestors because mm -hmm. like, I spent all those years going to 
going to school, university, and didn't know much about what happened to our African ancestors. And when I took that first trip in, you know, to Africa in 2004 to Senegal, it just changed my life. Mm. And uh, you know, before that, you know, I was just always trying to learn certain things. So once you get connected with something that um, you know that's you know that connects with your spirit, mm -hmm. and you can feel like you can make a difference, you end up just going a little harder for it. And you know, then when you're in business for so for a little bit. You like the, the thing of it is like you gotta keep you know you you want to keep in business so you realize that you have to keep on stepping it up and That's true. you can never just be too comfortable because you know people who have been too comfortable people like myself have came out in business and the next thing you know, I'm getting the business and they're mm -hmm. not getting the business uh, so uh, just not thankful for it and just thankful to surround myself with people like yourself where Absolutely. we can just work together and do some wonderful things because our brothers and sisters especially ones who are retired you know. 20, 30, 40 years of hardcore work on plantation. I'm two and years <laughs> retired, 42 years in education, educating our children from uh, grades three all the way up to the university. It's a lot of dedication for many 42 decades. 42 years. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and, and so when I look at people like yourself, it's like, you know, where's the rest of us that is ready to cater to, mm -hmm. you know, our people who said, I want to go to Africa, uh, you know, since I was young and since I w was working and everything and that, you know, so. And that's another thing that that's all some people they have to be prepared to business because mm -hmm. now you have people retiring they say all right do i want to live in africa do i want to live in florida so it's like you know we have to put ourselves in a position to set things up and make sure we take care of our people so that's really what it's all about family that's when right. you see the africa for the africans that's right you know and africa for the africans yes absolutely so you know i just wanted to say that if you decide to go um to return to the motherland look up brother bomani for any of your trips you yes, won't family. be disappointed. And one thing about us, we have everything on our website, so you can mm -hmm. check out our website, AfricaForTheAfricans.org, uh, the YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash Bomani2007, facebook.com forward slash Bomani, uh, Instagram forward slash Bomani2015, and twitter.com um, forward slash Bomani2010. So literally just on your social networks and online. It's and, everywhere. You know, just to make sure that you can click on these links and you see an unlimited amount of pictures for, with us in all these different yes. countries. Yes. And then see the same thing with videos. That way, and then you know when you're on the site, there's the documentation. So we're giving you a full scope of documentation. Documents, videos, pictures, and then you call me and we just go through everything. And he does return phone calls and text, which is very important. Also on the videos, you get the opportunity to preview what it is you're going to be experiencing which is very important when you're talking about traveling somewhere for the first time so yes go to africa for the africans dot org <coughs> absolutely family and that is literally it family we literally want to make sure that uh, we have all our information laid out that way you can process it make decisions and then mm -hmm. also fearfully compare it to the next brother or sister or anyone else you're looking to do business with mm -hmm. do your research Absolutely. And one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, uh, you have been doing organized journeys and uh, you have given me a lot of uh, information as far as Senegal and then also the Gambia. Uh, is Senegal your favorite country? Uh, well, I have to say yes. It has a sentimental place in my heart. But Ghana's right up there now. I'm telling <laughs> you, I haven't stopped thinking about Ghana since we returned um, January 5th. It's not a day. I've dreamt about the group. I've dreamt about our trip, the things that we've done, the interactions ever since I've been back. So I don't know. Um, God is warming me up to, you know, go there again in the very near future. Yeah, it's one of those countries there. Uh, it was the fifth country I went to. Um, and once I went there, I was there. I, was, I kept on doing tours there for, mm -hmm. so, for, you know, for a long time because so many things are so relevant. Mm -hmm. And But uh, as we see the growth in Senegal, it it has opened up to where now we have to try to connect to more countries now. You haven't been in a while. Senegal oh, yeah. has completely changed. <laughs> Modern For the roads, better too. yes, so many wonderful things are going on in Senegal right now. So, and it's only a seven hour, seven, eight hour flight from uh, JFK or either from Atlanta to Dakar now. So, they have a straight through flight. Absolutely. So, family, it's a lot going on in Africa and we can connect yes. you. And now that you know, we have. The wonderful South Africa journey going uh, in November, then uh, Senegal and Gambia, April, around um, you know, spring break. I know it's not spring break for everyone, but mm -hmm. that's the best schedule we can find right now to add another journey. So we have four countries and four tours and just looking for more people to reach out and connect uh, so we can give you the best experience. And also uh, 
uh, looking to connect you with more investments and more things to you know to make your journey more fruitful in Africa, especially if you want to live and do business. Yeah. So those options are there, but it's not forced on you. But uh, we wouldn't feel right if we have all of these uh, connections and network, and then we don't share it with the people who're looking to move. Well, I'm not as I guess computer savvy as Brother Bomani. But, you know, you can find me on Instagram under Talia Munir, and I'm here to answer any questions you may have um, about Senegal or the Gambia. That, 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 absolutely, and that's uh, excellent. Uh, so anything else you'd like to uh, share uh, uh, as far as your experience, or I should say, what are you looking for the most uh, on your South Africa journey? Because you've never been there before. No, I have. I've been to it, South Africa it, before. Oh, perfect. You've been to South Africa yes. before, and uh, some parts of our itinerary is a little different. Yes, absolutely. Um... What I'm looking forward on this particular trip, because my first trip to South Africa was a business trip. It had to do with environmentally friendly housing. Um, but this time I'm going for the roots and the culture. Um, I've gone to some of the places that we will be visiting um, in December, but this time I will be learning more about the black South African contribution to South Africa. I mean, it's our people, but we don't get the opportunity to really hear about what South Africa, the black South Africans have done for the country or the history of them. So this Roots and Culture trip is going to do that. It's not heavy on safari as a lot of the other companies <laughs> focus on. We are here. We're going to be going to learn about the African, the black African uh, history and the culture of South Africa. Rightly so, because that's what belongs to Absolutely famous. So whenever you see some of these itineraries for different countries, don't just look at the, the, the heading. You got to read the itinerary because you explained to me that you saw something with like three, four days of safari. And I was like, after one day of safari, you, you lost me. <laughs> if you've seen one animal, you've seen them all. But again, I, I looked at other tour companies before I got with Brother Bomani, and um, they just did not focus on the culture at all. It was very safari and wine tasting based and that's what you want to do, that's fine. But that wasn't what my focus was. I really think it's important that our people learn about our contribution to the world. And if you're going to go somewhere, you at least need to know about the people that live there and not the invaders. Absolutely, family. So we are encouraging you to get the best from your journey and connection to Africa and make it as fruitful as possible. And if you can't find anybody to assist you, just reach out to us and we do our best to connect you. Uh, so once again, family, this is Bomani Tamba, and I'm here with my wonderful sister, Talia. And uh, we're going to be seeing you there in South Africa for November 2020. So yes. remember, just connect with us on our website and social networks, and just reach out to us, and we'll get you uh, signed up and ready to go. Uh, right now, we are 20 strong, and we set up space for about a good 10 people. But we can make it work. Just reach out to us ahead of time. That's right. All right, so family. Uh, the journey continues, and we'll see you in the motherland. God willing. Peace.